So this is the next project. Uh, Katie and, and Brendan have two cats and they're notorious for getting up on the counter and getting into people food. And uh, so I bought them this off of Amazon. It's a cat deterrent. It's a motion activated spray uh, that sprays out a chemical that's uh, compatible with uh, refrigerants. It's kind of like a freeze. And uh, it's motion activated. It's got a PIR right here. It's just a passive infrared sensor. So if something walks in front of it, it discharges from the canister and scares the cat away. Uh, two problems with this that we found is that uh, it's only got a sensor on one side. So it's got about 260, 270 degrees that are, aren't covered and the cats can sneak up from behind it and never set it off. Another thing that's bad with it is that uh, people can set it off. Uh, the kids will walk in front of it or something and set it off and it's start all the kids. Uh, so I'll show you how this works. So I, I'm working on a project to uh, fix those two problems. And uh, so I'll show you how this works uh, in a video. Okay, you can see the uh, scat back here in the corner and the cat coming in, luring him in with the food. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, and you can hear the spray taking off. Now we got another couple cats coming in. We'll speed it up a little bit. And those cats don't like that. Right, so this is how I propose to uh, fix this. <clears throat> the issue of uh, the cat getting around this, I've got the canister mounted inside here. If I turn this canister on and off, you'll see it uh, turn to green and going on and off. The canister is uh, mounted inside this wooden thing. Uh, it's mounted behind a shutter and that shutter is blocking off that IR sensor. Uh, if I show you this, this the IR sensor right here on this canister is blocking that off so nothing uh, will, it won't see anything uh, until I want it to. And that is being controlled by a uh, servo, a little micro servo uh, mounted on the side right here. And this little micro servo right here is going to open and close the shutter whenever I want it to. <clears throat> uh, so I've got, in order to get the issue of the 360 degree coverage, I have IR sensors. You can see I'm flashing green. One in the front, one on the left, one on the right, and one in the rear. Uh, so I'm covering all 360 degrees uh, with other IR or passive IR sensors. Uh, so that's how I'm covering the 360 degrees so the cats can't sneak up on it. And then the issue of uh, how I'm going to detect uh, a person or a cat. I have a little camera here, cute little camera. Uh, it's an a artificial intelligence camera. It's got a lot of different uh, artificial intelligence algorithms that you can program into it and it can tell the difference between a cat and a person a cat anything actually and I've got that mounted right on the top up here you can see it uh, changing turning on and off so that camera uh, is going to detect if it sees a cat or a person if it sees a cat it'll drop the shutter and when that shutter is dropped uh, it'll expose the motion detector on this canister and discharge the canister. Well, that's the theory anyway. And uh, so if any of these four IR sensors mounted around the sides uh, are to see motion, uh, then I'm going to turn the camera on on the top and start to look for a cat or a person or whatever caused that motion. And I've got on the bottom down here mounted 
a servo, a 360 degree uh, servo right down here. Uh, this is a 360 degree, so it can uh, rotate all the way around. So I'm going to start rotating this little servo here, 360 degree. I'm going to start rotating this entire mechanism and uh, looking for a cat or a person with that camera. If it detects a cat, it'll drop the shutter and expose uh, that expose that motion sensor on the canister and hopefully discharge and scare the cat away. So that's how I plan on uh, fixing the two problems, the cat sneaking up on it with more sensors and the uh, person setting it off instead of a cat setting it off. I want to use some artificial intelligence to do that. So the brains of this whole thing is going to be an Arduino Nano. It's going to be a little microcontroller that I'm going to program to function <clears throat> the PIRs. Uh, these four PIRs I'm going to be looking for the motion with. Uh, the 360 degree servo that I'm going to turn looking for a cat to spray at. And a little micro servo to move the shutter on and off the uh, passive IR on the canister. Uh, and then it'll be sending a signal from the artificial intelligence camera uh, detecting whether it's what kind of object it's seeing, uh, whether it's a cat or a person or whatever. And so that's uh, what's going to be controlling this whole thing. 